Hello, 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 Mr. Palmer. Oh, Heidi High, I believe you people say. Hmm. Heidi High, beautiful. My name is Appleyard, Charles Appleyard. And I'm here in my capacity as Chief Welfare Officer of the Personnel Division of Incas Records. Yes, sir. You say yes, sir, don't you? Yes, yes, right. Yes, sir. Heidi, hi. Heidi, hi, yes, sir. Mm. Great. Wonderful language. Now then, where were we? Yeah. Yes, sir. It has been brought to my notice that you have recently experienced an indisposition. Yes, sir. Heidi, hi. But now I'm here to let you know that we at Incas are fully aware of your situation. And we're not only aware, we intend to do something about it. Now, we won't uh, be discussing pensions. Uh, it will be more in the way of verbal encouragement. Ask not what Incas can do for you, but what you can do for Incas. Oh yes sir, hi hi, yes sir. As with all Incas artists of your comparative youth, we would like to remind you that we expect great things from you in the 21st century. Yes, sir. Heidi Harry. Some of our artists, unlike you, Mr. Palmer, are pretty decrepit now. You might, in fact, hear one of them in the background, still trying to sort it all out, poor chap. But let's move on to something a little more encouraging. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to our resident artist comforter. Always ready to lift the spirit, stir the soul, and, uh, well, we'll leave it uh, there for now. But it's my pleasure to introduce to you, loved by one and all, you and me, him and her, Mr. Palmer. From now on, please refer to me as Lola. You, of course, will always be referred to as Mr. Palmer.
It is my pleasure and privilege to be allotted your personal comforter here at Incas. Please allow me to introduce you to our quite unique facility. This facility, Mr. Palmer, we call the Comfort Zone. Mr. Palmer, do you realize that you have been identified as a platinum artist? We are therefore able to offer you our fully comprehensive comfort zone package. This program can be accessed online at www.comfortzone slash you should be so lucky dot com Hey Stromboli! Get back here in the packing department. Oh, it's, I'm awfully sorry about that. Uh, uh, Mr. Palmer, you know she gets carried away. and it, She's really quite a well-meaning girl, but it's not her fault. It's old Bailey here. You know, I mean, you know, we keep him on. You can hear him doing his uh, 60s... Uh, Thank God, shit in the background, but the uh, excuse me, won't you, Mr. Palmer? It's he gets uh, to do this kind of thing, you see, because it, it gives him a chance to uh, practice his 19th century type guitar playing. Uh, we, to be quite honest, we don't know what to do with him, we just keep him on, but he's is a bit of a lad for the uh, for the ladies and uh, and Lola as you can tell is a very susceptible young woman and well she uh, well you, know, you heard what happened um, but don't worry we've got insurance policies for that kind of thing if you should be interested we can send you the uh, the brochures and everything meanwhile I've just uh, leave you now that's uh, that's about it hey Lola he's gone Appleyard's gone come on come on lass you'll be all right come on have another go come on lass have another go yes get in it he's gone now. <laughs> Mr. Palmer, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> and nobody takes any notice, Mr. Palmer. Hey, he's here, he's here. Hey, I told you to. 
Get back in that packing department. You put that guitar on, Anna. We've had enough for you today. Get back in the cage. Come on, you two. Out of it. Out of it. Mr. Palmer. Hey, come on. It's, uh, I've got to go now. Bye.